Hello, my friends. It's Tuesday afternoon, and it's July, sorry, 9th, 2024. And we're going to continue talking about A Course in Miracles. Um, a little differently, though. Not directly uh, quoting something from the Course, at least not to start with. Um, I'm going to quote something from the Bible. Something that I came across, actually, this morning while reading um, an interpretation of the Tao Te Ching. It's funny how... Things can tie together sometimes, maybe all the time, if we're open to seeing how they do come together. And this is, I always love um, St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Um, but this one I am less familiar with, although I'm almost positive that I've heard it before. And it is uh, 2 Corinthians 12, 9 to 10. And let's read it first. And let's explore how it uh, fits in. I haven't thought this out, so we're winging it, guys. I just, um, I read it and I fell in love with it. <coughs> Excuse me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That's why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardship, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, I am strong. That seems so paradoxical in the way that the Tao Te Ching is, that uh, it is offered, that it is in returning to the Tao itself. Is it in being soft? Is it in being gracious? Um, that we come to our true strength, not through force, but in surrender as well it strikes me as if it could come straight from a course of miracles which isn't so coincidental after all that here we're being told but he said to me that my grace is sufficient for you that what we've been doing relying on their ego to carry us through uh, is insufficient and in fact is the cause of all of our problems. Every single trouble. Sorry, my cat is, cat is here. As soon as she hears my voice, she comes in. And we just need to rely upon the grace of the Holy Spirit, of God. Remember that the Course in Miracles itself isn't Christian by definition. It uses Christian language. It has... Um, as much to do with Christianity as it does with Buddhism or uh, Vedanta. Very non-dual in its approach. But let's continue there with, um, so anyway, look aside from language to the essence of what's being discussed. That again, the Course always asks us to surrender the ego and rely upon the voice of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the mediator between this world and the world of God, the world of spirit, the world of pure, unconditional love. We careen through the world, all of our projections, all based upon ego, and we make a mess. When all we have to do is ask ourselves, can I choose peace instead of this? Can I forgive? Can I forgive instead of this? Can I be kind instead of this? Uh, continuing, Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. This is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, I am strong. And the reason why is because when we are weak, the ego is at its weakest. And we rely more on God. We rely more on the source. We rely more on the Tao. Where it's surrendering that for Christ's sake, delighting in weakness and in insults. This is what the Course would say is when we realize our invulnerability, that defenselessness itself is our best defense because it's only the ego that needs to defend. And the best insults remind us that it's so. That if I'm responding to an insult with my own insult in turn, 
or with my chest puffed out and being uh, feeling threatened and how dare you address me in such a way? Of course, that's the ego talking. If I can recognize that in a moment, then that's the moment I turn to spirit. That's the moment that I extend love instead of adding to the grievances of the world. Same in persecutions and difficulties. For when I am weak, when the ego is weak, then I am strong. Then we are love. When we are weak, when we are relying less upon the ego, when we are in the process of surrendering, then we are growing strong. So something to consider, guys. We can find wisdom. We can be practicing Course in Miracles uh, through every aspect of our lives, and we can be open to where that comes from, not just from opening the book, but by allowing life itself to speak to us. So you can find some true wisdom reading a book about the Tao, speaking of St. Paul, and relating to it through the teachings that we've received of our practice in A Course in Miracles. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. With that, guys, I'm going to see you a little later. Take care.